Hey guys, it's Pal Games, and welcome back to my channel covering all the newest simulator games. Welcome to the Sunset Motel, and thank you to the developers for gifting me this playtest key. So let's go and check the game out. Oh, we've got some tumbleweeds, and someone's dropping us off on a bike. Okay, cool. Oh, looks like we've got a suit on, perhaps. Right, where's this motel? Okay, nice. So we've got to renovate it, keep the customers happy, and it pretty much looks the same as its postcard. Hello, welcome to the Sunset oh, Motel. Hello. I haven't seen anyone in this motel for a long time. The previous owners all failed in this business and left. I hope you will be different. I also left you a car in the parking lot of the motel. You can use it when you want to go to distant places. It is not a very good car, but it will take your feet off the ground. I hope you can bring this. Okay, let's get through the door. Looks like we have to get some electricity. Oh no, we've started a fire. So the fire extinguisher by pressing the middle. The okay, cool. Panel is the heart of the motel. Go to the electrical room to turn on the motel. Right, nice. We've managed to put the power out. Um, so we can take a hammer. First, let's open the room by breaking the boards on the door. Which when boards am I room, opening? Carefully remove corners, wallpaper, and furniture. A clean room increases guest satisfaction. Okay, we need to get back in. So, can I get through here? No. Oh, I see. So the rooms are actually boarded up. Two hundred one. I wonder what the numbers are because it's really unlucky to have a number thirteen. But it might be on the other side, like two thirteen or something. Right, two hundred one. Let's go. Cool, we can break the wood. I like the fact you get a little tutorial. God, it's messy inside. Okay, it looks like we're getting some experience out of it as well. Now let's throw this garbage in the trash can outside and finish cleaning our room. Let me get my hoover out. Oh. I mean, not going to lie, I would have definitely preferred just to pick up the trash and chuck it in a bag, but it looks like we just um, we have to hoover up. Looks like we just have to hoover up all the cans. Fair enough. Not the most practical, I think, but it looks like he's doing his job. Right, so we've got a few more things left. And we're nearly done. Okay, so it's put it into bags for us. Is there another room in here, like the bathroom? Okay, so it's broken. Right, collect garbage in the room and throw it in the trash. Maybe I can just pick the rest of it up. Oh. My bad. Let's see how far we can throw it. Oh, that's a decent distance, to be fair. Not like in a grocery simulator where I could only literally throw it like two meters away from me. And we can Check call the garbage, garbage truck. Regularly and empty them when necessary. Overflowing garbage bins create a bad appearance. I like that, to be fair. Right, I don't think I can pick any of a... Oh, wait, let me just grab this bag. I like the fact we have to do like extra little things, like even just ringing for the bins to be collected and stuff. Um, how do I call them? So tab, garbage. Oh, what is going on here? Right, garbage, trash collection. Making the room ready for customers, let's start by breaking the parquet with the hammer in your hand. And you need to complete the rest of the to-do list. Cool, we'll do that. Let me just... Oh, do they automatically... I love how they've just lined them up for me. Right, I just need to get used to the controls because I'm so used to just pressing my mouse and letting it do its job for me. Right, complete the to-do list to open room 201 and then we can open room 202. Cool. So, can I pick these chairs up? I don't think I can. So, let me grab my hammer and break all the floorboards. I mean, it would have kind of made sense if I could just pick up all the chairs and chuck them out as well. Maybe that comes a little bit later on in the tutorial. The crunching is so satisfying. Okay, we can speed it up a little. Oh, oh and they all disappear. So that saves us a bit of a job. Oh, that is actually so satisfying. This game definitely has a lot, a lot of potential. 
Ah, oh, let's try and speed it up a little. Let's try and speed it up a little. If only it was this easy in real life. Like, I'm moving house soon and... God, I can't wait. Oh, that was... Okay, cool. We can break the beds as well. Maybe we can break the chairs. Can we finish... Oh, we can finish the toilet off as well. And yeah, I'm moving soon and I wish it was this easy just to go and renovate. And let the floorboards just magically disappear once you smash them up. Okay, I think that was the last one. Nice. So, to-do list. So, we need to break them. Break the old furniture as well. Oh, okay, so the chairs do break. Cool. Saves us having to carry them all out. And how much money do we have? Oh, okay, we nearly have five grand. That's, um, that's a lot of money to work with. And we're about to level up as well. What is this? This is looking creepy. Oh, okay, I can just tear this down. We're level one so far. Oh, we can repair this window. Oh, I love how you get the blinds of it as well. Right, let's tear it all up. Don't think there was any wallpaper left in here. No. And we can repair the door as well. Saves us buying another one. Okay, there's a little bit more wallpaper here. And then once we've torn the wallpaper, oh, okay, we've got one more window to repair. Then we just need to paint a wallpaper and then place the floor on it. Right, two more. Oh, there you are hiding. Yes, now you can choose a paint for the wall that you feel comfortable with. Right, let's have a look. So, paint. Oh, I don't really know what... Oh, okay, this is all white. Yeah, do you know what? Let's make it nice and white. Make it look fresh. Let's go for the first one. And where is my... Okay, cool. We've got the paintbrush. I just like going for the neutrals because I don't know what the furniture is going to look like and I don't want to go all like snazzy and go for like, I don't know, a red room or something if the furniture's all like different colours. We need it to mix and match nicely. Oh, we've levelled up. Nice. So we've unlocked some skill. So what can we have? We can have tools. So we can break multiple parquets. Parquets, however you say it, floorboards. And furniture's 10% off or... Ooh, we get to cook as well. So it looks like we can do everything for our customers, which is a nice touch. So we can cook them some nicer food or we can earn 5% bonus money. Um, I'm not too bothered about the floorboard so far, but I am bothered about getting more money. So let's go for that. And then we can work on all our other skills. Right, let me get my paintbrush back in action. Beautiful. So we've got a few more walls to paint. See, I'm not a massive fan of wallpaper. I just don't think it looks nice anymore. Like, it's such, like, an old thing, in my opinion. But what do I know? I like a bit of panelling. Like, some wooden panels that are painted on the sides. Like, half panels to make your bedroom look a bit nicer. Oh, pretty much nearly done. To be fair, I might do the bathroom in tiles if that's available. If not, we can try and have a look at some... Um, if not, we can try and look at a darker shade. Because I feel like the bathroom, like a dark bathroom looks nice. Can we do the ceiling? Oh, okay. Oh, they're not too bothered about me changing the ceiling, to be fair. But we might as well now have started. Probably going to run out of paint because of it, but we move. Oh, we can paint the doors as well. Oh no, I might have made that up. Um, okay, cool. So we've done all this. And to be fair, if I've got enough paint, I might as well. No, actually, no. I'm going to buy a different paint. I'm going to stick to what I said. Oh, so paint. Let's go for some sort of dark. Oh, okay. I can only have these certain colours. So let's try this one. Where's the wallpaper on here? Okay, it's not unlocked yet. Uh, there we go. So let's see what this one's going to look like. Oh, that is very bright. That's not what I was going for, but 
that's the only paint that's a bit darker and available in this game so far so we'll have to wait for the full release to get something like a gray kind of gray bluish vibe oh let's fill you back up and we've got a few more left so three more and we're sorted and i can take the white paint over to the other room Let's start laying the parquet we have chosen for the floor. Oh, it is parquet the then. parquet significantly affects the atmosphere of the room. Do I just place... I thought I was supposed to buy it. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, there it is. Right. Um. What do we have? We've got tiles. Okay, yeah, let me get some tiles for the bathroom. They're all looking brown though. I can have a carpet. I'm not a massive fan of carpets just because they stain so much, especially in hotels. So let's go for some nice floorboards. And I want tiles in the bathroom. What do we have? Mm, maybe let's go for this one. Right, let me chuck you in here. So then we know that's for the bathroom. And then we can start with this. Ooh, I like the fact they align together as well. I wish you could kind of choose which way you want to lay it down though. Oh, that's not what I was meant to do. There we go. Yeah, I feel like it might have been a little bit nicer if it was laid just... What's it? Vertically? Horizontally? One of the two. Just straight up. But maybe we will have a chance to customise it a little bit more in the full game but so far so good i'm really enjoying this just because i like the management bit of it as well like you know managing their income and like doing all the other bits and bobs like cooking etc maybe when we start getting customers as well we might have to do certain tasks oh i need to buy a few more a few more panels we might be able to do certain tasks see that's what i thought it was just going to go in straight lines um, such as like doing some maintenance for them or you know bringing them some meals or something like that which might give us some extra tips perhaps but yeah at the moment we just have to decorate it all oh. no I want you to how do I put it back right maybe I can just pick the tiles up instead oh there we go see I feel like this looks so nice in the bathroom and again, they're going diagonal. Just a few more. Beautiful. We're done. Okay, we just need to get some furniture. Now let's choose furniture that suits the purpose of the room. Let's choose comfortable bed, a nice sofa and a toilet. Remember that every item you put in the room will more items. Let's you earn more money in the future. Oh. Right, cool. So we've got an empty box. So let me chuck that out. I wonder what time they come to pick up the garbage, whether it's the moment I order them they come or whether they come like they've got a certain set time or something. Right, that's my other one. So let me just drop you over here. So we've got some paint left over. We just have to remember which one we've used so we don't mess it up and start doing, you know, all different shades, different corners of the room. Cool. So that's one room oh i do like this to be fair right so we need to get a bed i'm thinking have the main bed over here we need to get a sofa a bath lights wardrobe and some plants nice i love me some plants right where do i buy them oh it's on my wheel okay cool so i need to get a sofa okay there we go i don't know why i just locked it right i want to have a look at the bed first and then we'll go from there so we've got 4800 to work with oh hang on let me have a look so i can actually see it. jeez this bed is massive i don't want it to cover our window i feel like this has changed where i'm going to put the bed now maybe i'm going to put it this way And let's go for something nicer. They're all the same price, so I might as well go for the nicest looking one. I kind of like this one, the beigey one, grey, whatever it may be. And let's put it up against the wall. Cool. And we need some... We don't need any bedside tables. We need a wardrobe. 
stand, picture light. Oh, yeah, let's get some hanging lights to be fair. Maybe one with a lampshade. Right, we need two lights and let's have a nice one for the bathroom. See, I feel like these are the kind of vibes for the bathroom. Obviously, like, flat on the ceiling, but we can't we can't choose too many things just yet. So, we've got a wardrobe left. Oh, okay, we can just have some little bedside drawers, so maybe I'll do that. Oh, these look a bit nicer. Let's have them here, so then we can always put a telly up on there or something. And then we need a sofa. I think I've gone past it already. There's a massive selection of things we can have. Coffee table, TV unit. I mean, I'm going to use my dressing table drawers for now, but mirror, plants, decor. Got some rugs, bookcases, etc. Right, so sofa. I mean, we can have a little chair in there. Or for an extra 50, I can have a nice little bougie sofa, which I could do kind of like the look of. However, saying that, if we do use up a lot of room, we can't stick any more things in and I'm pretty sure he said the more things we use the better it's going to be in terms of income so let me just chuck this little one in here so we've still got a sofa it doesn't really matter which one we go for at the moment but I do need to get a bath wait what oh okay we need free bath items okay cool so we can have where we where are we having this right so I'm gonna have the toilet in there so I can have the sink in here cool and we can have definitely need a shower don't i oh we can have some nice little towels we'll have an actual bath but hang on i need to move these first see i knew something would stop me from making this bathroom like right so we've got a bath So yeah, let's make it sideways and it fits in perfectly. There we go. And then let's just have a toilet. Unfortunately, the toilet's just going to have to be... Oh, to be fair, I can move the sink. So let me chuck the toilet there. Oh. And let's move the sink here. And then the toilet can be nice and discreet on the side here. Right, can I get some... Right, I just need two more plants, but I do want to... Make everything look nice and pretty. So let's have a little towel rack. Can I have some toilet roll? Yep, beautiful. So let's chuck some toilet roll on the side. And that's... N oh, it's made us level up. So we've got some more skill. What's this? Is this just a... Oh, it's a shower head. I mean, to be fair, I'm not too bothered about it just yet. We can't have like a proper shower. But we need to level up to unlock things. So I'm happy to leave it as it is. Let me just get these out of the way. And then we just need two... Oh my god, it's gone dark now. Jeez. I like oh, okay. I didn't even realise there was a timer. It's 10 o'clock now. So the first day is nearly over. But we're going to be... Okay, I need to open the first room first. Um, we're going to be working all night to get it all sorted. So we can start and get some customers in the morning. See, this is this... Oh. Oh my god. Is that the noise? Oh, I've just realised that's a car as well. Right, I've just banged it a few more few more times can i get in there oh sick okay it looks like i need some oh i need to take the handbrake off cool we can go and drive it about in a bit but at least it is drivable which is nice oh i thought that was floating for a second i thought you were a shadow okay that's just a drain hole so we're nearly done just need to add a few more plants oh okay we've only got two to choose from so we can have you in the corner here. I mean, I don't really want one in the bathroom, so we can have a little one. Can we place you in here? Oh God, that looks massive. Right, we'll move you about when I get a TV. Job. You'll have to open room 202 next. It's best for us to have a few rooms to give to customers. Can I close the door? Beautiful, so this one's done. It's all beautiful. And 202 next. So we've got some paint, we've got some um, tiles and some floorboards already. So let me just grab the hammer, get this all sorted, well to be fair we might as well, oh, 
We might as well repair the door already. Saves us one job. Can we repair the window from the outside? Yes, we can. Right, so same thing. We need to tear some more paper down. Oh, let me get in. Get the rubbish out. Paint it and place some furniture. So we know the drill. So let me just destroy everything first. I feel like this is like the most satisfying bit. So we can do... See, I don't like doing one thing at a time. I might as well just do like the whole thing together. Although now I'm kind of slightly regr... Oh, hang on. Let me get in my skill. I was about to say I'm regretting not having it as my skill, but... Do you know what? Let's be bougie and let's get it. And I should have one more, so... Okay, I can't unlock anything else just yet. Oh, that's making life so much easier now. Oh yes, go on. Break them all. Oh, I don't know why we want to break the telly. Didn't mean it was too shabby. Um, it might not be working anymore, to be fair. I'll take it back. And this one little lonely floorboard in there. And then the bathroom. And we're sorted. We just need to hoover it all up. Right, that's the floorboards done. Where's my little hoover? There we go. I wonder what the red thing is. Is it how dirty... Oh, yeah, I think it is how dirty it is. Oh, wait, I've left a few chairs about that we need to break still. But that's fine. I'll get my hammer out and then we'll sort the other window. Is it just the one? Uh, yeah, it's just one more window left. Right, let's get my last lonely cannon there. And I can go... Oh, my God, is it raining? Oh, nice. I can even see it on the floor. I haven't got a little disabled spot. Right, cool. That's one. And where's my other bin bag? There we go. I like the fact you get different weather. I wonder whether it... Oh, I can just chuck it in like that. Nice. So it automatically goes in. Um, I do wonder if it affects the customers at all, like if they moan anymore, if like it's raining or if the roof starts leaking and things like that. So you have to do a bit of maintenance, maybe. Right, there's no wallpaper in the bathroom. Let's get the last few bits of wallpaper off. And I think that's all my... Oh, one last bit of wallpaper left. No, it says there's one more. Oh, there we go. Cool. And let's just destroy a few more of these chairs, not with my hoover. Let's fix this window because it's raining. Yeah, I love how it automatically just took some blinds on there as well. Nice, so we've got some floor in. So let's take you inside again. I don't want to end up with it flooded. Or, to be fair, I might bring the paint in as well. Oh. Right, so Mare's our white one. Let me get the tiles done first because I feel like that will be a lot easier as there's less of them. And we're going to try and make these rooms, well the first two I want to make kind of identical. Maybe I might use the wallpaper just to see what it looks like. Might change my mind, you never know. Might start liking wallpaper a little bit more than I do paint. Right, that's our, no I didn't mean to pick it up. Oh, that just got rid of my tiles. I'm not vibing. Right, let me carry this and let's get you out. Oh, just a little bit further would have done the trick. And I think we've just run out, so I might just need to order a few more. Is that the last one? Yep. So let me chuck you in a bit again. Let me see if I can get it in this time around. Oh, nice. And we've leveled up again. So we've got one more skill level to use. Wait, I wonder if it changes the noise if we shut the door. No. I mean, that would have been a nice touch. But to be fair, it's still nice that it goes a bit louder when we step out. Step outside. 
Right, and then we just have to paint it. Maybe there is a skill for painting. I might use that next. No, that's my blue one. Yeah, we've run out. Let me get some more. Uh, it was in the tab. Oh, to be fair, I did say I wanted to have a look at the wallpaper. I might use tiles for the bathroom. Yeah, I don't like these other ones. And see what they look like. Oh, I love how you, you just layer the tiles. Like, oh, it is wallpaper, I guess. It's not actual tiles. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then hopefully they're all going to be nice and satisfied. And I do want to have a look what sort of wallpaper they have for the other for the other room. Because I feel like tile in an actual room would be a bit weird. Even though we've got some left over. Oh, let's not forget about this little bit. And I think that's done. Cool. It's a shame we can't put the leftovers back in a box, but we move. Um, right, so wallpapers, what do we have? So we've got some wooden ones, we've got some brick, and we've got some pattern ones. No, they give me like old strange Mattel. So let's stick to my night. Let's stick to my nice white paint. Okay, cool. So I don't even have to get the paintbrush out. It just automatically does it for me when I point my hand at the paint. Um, what's it called? Paint bucket. And that should be it. Beautiful. So we've just got to decorate it now. Okay, it stopped raining so I can leave you all outside. And hopefully they're not going to care that there's a few cans of paint and a few boxes of floorboards about. Oh, let's see if I can stack it a little bit more. Nice. And the last one, can we chuck that on top? Beautiful. Oh my God, look at that. Beautiful. Might have to see how much I can stack up. Right, so, oh, this toilet, this bathroom is a little bit small. See, the only thing is, in this playtest, it does glitch a little bit when I try and buy some furniture. So I can't initially change between the different settings. I have to get out of it and come back. So in this one, we're going to have... Maybe let's have the toilet here. With some new roll. I think that's a good level. And instead of a bath, I'm going to try shower head. And we're going to pretend it's a washroom. And then the last thing I need is a sink. So maybe again, if we do it this way, it gives them a little bit more dignity so they can toilet there and they can shower there with a sink um, in the middle. And then I just want a little towel rack. You can put that next to here. I wonder how to unlock these. So it says you need two stars. But I, I don't know how to go about it just yet. So I guess we'll have to wait for the rest of the tutorial. And then the rest of my furniture, I want a wardrobe again. Oh, let me actually decide where I'm going to put the bed. Like I said, that's the most important thing in the room. Yeah, let's go for the nice one again. Right, so you walk in there. Right, maybe we'll have the bed there. Like on the main wall. And what else do we have? We need a sofa. Maybe these are like the standard things you need in order to get someone to move in. And then the rest of it you can just add later. Right, so sofa. I want. I do want to try and have a slightly bigger sofa this time around. So maybe have the sofa on this side. I feel like this room looks a little bit wider. Longer even. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And what else do we need? We need some light again. So maybe if we go for this in the bathroom this time around, I prefer this than just a single lone bulb and maybe one next to the bed. God, this doesn't look very made up. 
but we move and we need a wardrobe and some plants and look it's daytime so hopefully my customers should be so hopefully i might be able to open up and get some customers in so get a wardrobe we'll pop this little dresser plonk it on here and then i need two plants so let's do the same thing let's oh i'm sure i could have put, oh there we go it's just being a bit temperamental and then we can have a big one in the corner here fill the space up a little bit oh no we've got a thief so i can punch him i can run him over with my car behave if he runs away you can chase him with a car and knock him down okay cool we've been robbed get in the car and chase the thief save our money oh damn i need to extinguish it oh my god quick come on we can do this oh my god this is taking ages right the fire's out let me get in uh, right take me handbrake off right how do i get out of this motel oh wait do i have to drive on the right side of the road probably right a speed bump and where's this thief gone oh my god is ages right we need to go and catch him right what we've we got we've got some lights we can take a picture oh no 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 I did not mean to do that. Oh my god, get back in. I was just going through all the letters. Oh, I love how they've just ended up putting the handbrake back on for me. 750 meters away. What what the hell? I'm sorry about this. I've got some money saved up. First go find the letter in the storage room. It has the No, behave. He was only 50 meters away. Why is it saying 750 now? Oh, I should have just ran after him. Genuinely, I should have just ran after him. Might run someone over instead. <sighs> right, well, it looks like, even though we've been robbed, he's got some extra money. Oh, don't mind me. He's got some extra money left for us. Can't believe that's just happened. I literally got back in the car and went from 50 metres to 750. Okay, cool. Let me just park you up in here. There's me with my little extinguisher left. Right, hang on, it's downstairs. Oh no, look, I'm on zero. Right, where did he say this was? Go to the warehouse, find a letter. You need a password to open it. 023412. Oh, okay, we need to find a safe. Right, let me put this fire extinguisher out because it's annoying me now. Wait, what was it? 023412, yeah? Right, we've got to remember this now. Oh, that's cool. Right, 02. To avoid being robbed again, buy a camera from the upgrade menu on the tablet. This can protect us from thieves. No, we've only got a grand. Are you kidding me? Right, we're going to have to earn all our money back. Right, buy a security camera on the tablet. Can't believe he's nicked all our money. Human. Where's this camera? Oh, okay, cool. We can go back to our motel now. The customers might ask you for food. Go to the market and buy some food. Right, let's get over to the food market. And get some more food for our customers. Right, is there anyone coming? Ah, we can make it beautiful. Oh, okay, the food market's not that far away. I don't know why I thought it would be a trek. Oh, let's back up. I'm sure no one else is going to be coming. Ooh, what can we get? Oh, cool. I can get some coffee. We can get some pizzas. God, pizza's so expensive. Get some eggs. Yeah, we need a few burgers, surely. Not too bothered. Oh, I do love a bit of salmon, but I'm not too bothered. Let's get some sandwiches. I'm sure they'd want a few. 
what we've got here we've got some roast meat god he's gonna hate me i've opened all his fridges up got some hot dogs oh they're just slices fair enough and get some bread yeah we definitely need some toast i reckon god i wonder how much that's gonna be right it looks like we've got some cocktails and some supplements we can buy as well but i'm happy with this so far 475 cool can i just put this at the back of my truck oh god i'm literally stood next to it and it's making a noise like i've just driven into my truck nice and we just need to drive back and pop it all in the fridge See, this is why I wish I spent so much more on furniture now. And, you know, if we'd have got robbed, it wouldn't have mattered. Because there would have been nothing to rob. Instead, I was like, yeah, let's not spend too much. Let's have let's have a bit saved. And then here we are. Oh, other way. Now it's time to open the motel. Let's get started. Okay, now nice. so we've managed to renovate our hotel. We've got two rooms going, we've got some food, and I finally figured out how not to get robbed. Well, we'll see next time they try and rob us. But in the meantime, if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you want to see the next upcoming video of me serving customers and getting 10 out of 10, obviously, 10 out of 10 on my customer satisfaction. So I'll see you in the next video.